Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Enjoy the Bounty of Planning with Tonisha Taylor. So, <clears throat> I am really excited. I'm going to do a monthly, instead of doing a, like a traditional plan with me, I'm going to do more of a flip through where I go through and do a recap of the previous month and then um, show you what the setup for this month is gonna look like. Um, and then I will kind of do a little review of some things and then that'll be it. Oops. So let's start, we're gonna, this is obviously my current plan. We're gonna pull that to the side. I wanna start with a little bit of a recap. So as y'all know, I keep my planners, I keep my inserts. So my work planner, I keep a work planner and a personal planner. And when I'm using them day to day, they're on one set of discs in my cover. Um, when I store them, I store them on two separate discs because as you can see, these are the black tool two inch discs. And that is basically the entire year of 2022. <laughs> um, for my personal planner, I have a habit tracker. At the beginning of the year, I was using a habit tracker. I had a whole, I had a habit tracker section, a home section, a wellness section, my calendar section, my research section, my, um, and then I had my, for work, I have my work calendar, and then my projects, committees, and notes. So for my work section, um, I will say for my, so on this, di this set of discs is the one inch gold happy planner discs. Um, in here are just the calendars. I don't, the sections that are projects, committees, notes, and stuff like that for work, I store those notes when I'm not using them when the committee is over or isn't meeting. I store those notes um, in here. This is the cloth and paper um, caramel pebble leather planner cover. I can't remember the size. I'll go back and see if I can find it, but I'm in a half letter planner. So this is the one that fits for that. Um, these are rose gold discs. I think these ones are from Notique. These are, I think they're an inch and a quarter. And so this is where I have all of the notes for grants that I'm on, committees that I'm on, stuff like that. This is also where I put all of my research notes for any projects that I've got going on. When the project's either over or um, I put the old notes in the pro for this project, for the project in here and I keep the new notes in my planner. And so you'll see, I tend to use page flags for, to be able to note these. For some of the things that are things like the work things that are kind of standard committees, I'm just, I'm still using page flags, but I'm using these dividers in Affogato. Um, and these plastic dividers are from cloth and paper. I don't even know if they do this color anymore, um, but I do like them. For this research section, I'm probably going to go ahead because some of these are kind of standard things that I'm working on. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and get some dividers for these sections. Um, and then that way I'll have some like hardcover dividers. So that's the notebook. At the end of the month, I purge out from my current planner and I put notes in the notebook, right? And then I put the calendars in the calendar books where they go. So let's look at August first. So these plastic tabs are from cloth and paper. And I just pull out the whole thing and stick it in there, right? And so this is what the month of August looked like. I do use these little dot pens um, that I got. I got these from um, Amazon. They're called, called the Clean Color Dot. 
I really love these. I used to use in my planner dot stickers, but that can sometimes, I mean, and actually I'm using those again this month, but sometimes I can get a little tedious. So I like having the pens to be able to make the dots in the planner as I go for each week. So this is essentially what my layouts looked like each week. They were kind of minimal as they usually are. The week before school started, I had so much going on, as you can see, that I, um, oh, I need to take this sticker with this post-it note with me um, into next week. Um, glad I saw that. So I decided to use my, um, I decided to use my Tombow highlighter to highlight the dates and then to highlight around the boxes of some meetings that um, are a little bit more, that were kind of important. And then I used some stickers for the first week of school, highlighting around some things that were kind of important. Um, and then, yeah, that was kind of it. And then I have the end of the month, I had, I used this page for some notes for something that I attended and that was that. So I have already taken August out of here. So, and I've also taken the month of October out of here. So the October tab is missing. So I just went ahead and used this little page flag to tag onto October so I'd be able to find it easily when it's time to pull the weekly out of here. So let's look at in here, <clears throat> we have the month of August and I have in here I'm using for my personal planner, I am using the monthly that's coming in the subscription box. I love this new layout. I've already pre-ordered for 2023. I cannot wait for my box to come. <laughs> I'll be so excited when my box shows up. I won't even know. I mean, y'all will know when I, when it comes because I'm gonna I'll end up posting about it. But I love this new layout. So the only thing I don't like about this one is the one that we're getting is with a Sunday start. And y'all know I am not a fan of a Sunday start. I very much prefer a Monday start to my monthlies and my weeklies. But you know what? Hey, it's in the planner box. I love that planner box and I do love this layout. My favorite, favorite, favorite thing about this layout is the fact that down here you're getting this important dates and notes sections and then you're still getting a task list or to-do list or I'm using my side panel here on the right hand side um, as a, um, essentially as a legend for what the dot colors mean in my planner. And so I love this, that I just, I love having this on the right hand side cause I'm right handed. Um, I love that I can, I was always using this as a legend before and I just really like that it's there. And so, um, so this is how I used it for each um week it's again it's a sunday start with a saturday end i do very much enjoy this task list section i like this weekly layout because i can put in um time sensitive things but i can also put in more sort of task oriented things as well um this, I just felt like I needed a little bit more decor. I needed a little bit more color as we're getting ready to go back to school and stuff. This, I don't know, I just, I felt like I needed a little, I needed a little something. So I went ahead and decorated it for the week before school started, the week of, the first week of school, and then the last week of the month got a little bit of decorative treatment. And so I really like it. I like the way it came out. Um, I feel really good about it. And so, so yeah, so I like it. Now I also keep in behind the month, I keep in my um, wellness calendar section. This is one that I actually always, I back plan this. 
So I go back in, I use my Apple Watch app and I go back in and I fill this in after the fact. I don't typically fill it in in the week that it's happening. And so I do need to go back in and fill this in of the steps and weight and all of that. Um, Cause I actually have a Bluetooth enabled scale so I can go back and check my weight as well. And so I'll go back in and fill all of this in. But I did, and I did decide, cause again, I was like, I really need to get, get back to self, get back to workouts. And so I decided to kind of use, decorate this a little bit more. Cause I hoped that would motivate me to use it a little bit more. Um, and it kind of did, kind of didn't, it kind of didn't work. Where's the rest of August? <laughs> Hold on. Is this August? Yeah, this is August. Yeah, this is August. Okay. Um, I'm like, hold on a second. <laughs> Let's put this where it belongs. So these that I'm using um, for the weeklies um, are the weekly vertical that we received in one of the sub boxes. Can't remember which month. It was either May or June. Um, but what I really like about these, so they're undated. Um, so you have to date them. If you're an undated girl who also uses dailies, I could totally see where this would be really perfect for somebody who uses weeklies and dailies. Especially if you're somebody who likes to have like their week and then their dailies, right? Like what I do love about this, especially for using this for wellness, is I actually love, I would prefer if this was dot instead of grid, but you know, whatever. Um, the I like the fact that I could, and I decided this late in August that this is what I was gonna use it for. That's why this one looks like this, right? Um, and looks like this, is I decided that I'm gonna use the inside of this to do a little bit of decor, but really to just give myself a place to just write down some thoughts of how I'm feeling about the week. Because when I, whenever I was tracking meals and weight and steps and things like that before the pandemic, and I was doing really, really well, I realized when I went back, this is another reason why I say keep your planners. Um, keep keep those tracking pages, right? Because a lot of times it's really helpful to be able to go back. You remember when things worked well, but you don't always remember why. And so being able to keep your planners and keep your tracking pages and things like that, if you keep them, you can go back and look at them for a year or a month or a week when things were going really well and you felt really successful. And you can go back and look at your habits and see, oh, that's what I was doing. That's why it worked. That's how I figured that out. And you can replicate that again, right? And so what I was able to do was go back and look at my planners from the years when I was like really successful at being able to manage weight, manage stress, manage my health. And I realized that one of the things that really worked for me was having a page at the end of the week where I took stock of what had happened that week. And even on the weeks when it was a total disaster and I ate every carb I could find, like if it was a carb in the world, I ate it. And I could go back and look and see like, oh, I got, yeah, I ate all the carbs, all the things. But the very next week, I tapered that back and I was able to reflect on that. And that's, I was able to see like, what are the habits that I use that work for me? when I fall back into my bad habits. So what are the good habits that work for me? How do I get myself back into my good habits? And this was one of them. Being able to write out things is one of those good habits that works for me. It always puts me back on track. And so I did that, <laughs> right? And I'm really, I feel good about it and, and how that all worked out. So it's good to be able to have these so that you can reflect on what happened in the past. So that is the setup for August. 
um, and what all happened in August. So now we're in September. So that's going to be it. So that's our recap. So let's look at the current month and how we have it set up. And I'm going to grab this little guy and actually I'm going to do this off camera because I have some things already in the work section that I cannot show. Actually, I can show the monthly. I can't show the weekly, which I almost did. Um, here we go. And this is because this is actually where I want to stick this. Okay. So let's start at the front. <clears throat> so this is the Tombow that I keep in here. So we're just going to stick that in here. Um, I have not redone my pockets in a while. I really like how they look in the front. I love this cloth and paper um, uh, magnetic clip. So in this particular color, I can't remember what color this is, but I love it. So I'm going to leave it here. Um, this is a card from Cloth and Paper. And then these are some icon and label stickers, transparent label stickers from Cloth and Paper that I love. Um, this plastic cover is from Cloth and Paper. Um, so it's a little bit bigger. I love it. I think the next time, I don't know. I so I keep going back and forth. I It does not bother me that this gets scratched up, frankly. Um, cause that to me is just a sign of use and I do take my planner. It probably wouldn't get as scratched up if I left it in the cover, but I don't, I take it out and I put it on my desk. I carry it around the house, <laughs> you know, so it's going to get scratched up front and back. Um, and that's just the way it's going to be. I don't know. I'm debating about if I want to get a frosted cover um, so that the scratching won't be as obvious. I don't know. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do for 2023 if I'm going to stick with the clear cover or go frosted. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I do know that I do need to get a new inbox, a new one of these. Because these kinds of things, sometimes I take them with me, sometimes I leave them behind in the old planner. Um, and this one's a little scuffed up, so I think I'm going to get a new one of these for 2023. But right now we have circle, these are matte circle um, stickies, and then square sticky notes. I like keeping these just to be able to write a quick note down. This vellum is from Cloth and Paper. And it says, as you think, so it shall be. I just love that. I love being able to see that through the clear cover. That's why I can't decide if I want to get a frosted cover because I like being able to see that through the clear cover. Um, and then through the clear inbox. I just love that layering. I love how that looks. So right now, over the summer, I had a picture of the ocean. Right now, I just have a picture of sand. I just printed it out on plain paper. This was a picture of the beach in Hawaii. Um, and I just love the way that looks as a little layering moment. So there you go. And then the This Belongs To section, this is a quote sticker from Happy Planner. My at a glance calendar, I don't have anything on here i actually really love and i did see somebody do it and i have the stickers so i think i'm actually gonna do it right now yeah is i saw people using these sweet caress stickers um to kind of highlight the months that have already passed so you know what let's just do this real quick and i'm actually gonna do it this way do i want to do it this way I want to do it this way. I want to do it this way. Oops. Let's see. Oh yeah, I kind of like that. these kind of darker ones and I because there are four different shades I'm gonna use them for the four different quarters I think
because for this one, I don't really, I use the perpetual month at a glance, obviously, to kind of like check my dates, but that's all I use it for. Like, as you can see, I don't highlight dates on it or anything like that. I do that in my overview, which you're gonna see in a second. I like that okay that that makes me awkwardly happy um, so we'll go back in and use these stickers on these months when that's time for those months I know I like that because I was really wondering what I was gonna even use those big teardrop stickers for so let's go ahead and stick these back in the back of here So in the overview, I have my paper clip clipped to go straight to the third quarter. So we are in the month of September. So this is where I highlight the things um, that are going on. And I just realized I have something I do want to highlight here. Okay, and I'll write it in in a minute. Um, but that is that section. And then in the home section, I have this cleaning and chores list from Cloth and Paper. I was using this as sort of a tracker. And this month, last month I used it as sort of like a perpetual reminder. I'm doing the same thing this month. I feel really good about this. I feel like if Cloth and Paper did this as like a whiteboard, I would, or like a clear, like a dashboard insert, I would totally get that and use it for that. Like that, I don't know, that's something about that seems real hot to me. So that's, that I would do that. But right now that's what's happening. So this is the wellness section and I just realized this is not the way it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like that, there we go. Um, so I like when I pull, well actually, so I have my plastic tab and then this wellness, um, wellness, mental and physical uh, vellum. And then this um, cardstock, this is a paint swatch cardstock. Um, both of those are from cloth and paper. I think this wellness vellum was in a sub box, um, but I really like it. So then I have the cloth and paper monthly for September to be able to log in my starting weight and my ending weight and then my weight each week as I log it in. So I'll log in my steps and how many times I close my rings. And then I have my setup for the month. I already did my layout for week one, um, which I just realized I did not write the week of. So okay. Yay. All right. And then I do have an extra week in here so that I will be ready for next week and I just have to lay it out. In my calendar section, I have um, on behind this tab a quote that says, do what you want to be known for by Ashley R. Um, and then the from cloth and paper and then this is the other half of that picture that i have in the front of my planner so this picture right here this is the other half of that picture so what i love about being in a half letter is that when you want to print out your own pictures and your own dashboards you can just use a regular piece of paper <laughs> Print out a picture that you have that you love and just cut it in half if that's what you want to do. And I just love the way this looks. So I just clip that together with a little rose gold teardrop paper clip. And then, oops, this is not in the right spot. Um, for the month, and then we have the month of September. I'm using my cloth and paper. This was an Ollie clip. Yeah, this was an Ollie clip collab that cloth and paper did. Um, I do not remember the color. 
Um, I'm sure if you go back and look at previous videos, I want to say that this is either, I want to say this one might have been in a sub box. So it's probably in a sub box or it's in an unboxing. And in there, it'll tell you the video, the color. Cause I don't remember. <laughs> um and then i did my monthly layout already and then i did my weekly layout so i'm just gonna put my little bookmark ruler back in here um for the current week so that when i pick it up i'll be in the right spot and then after that i have so i have the whole month of september in here obviously um, I do use these little um, pre-planning sheets. I use these as pre-planning sheets from, these are the half page sheets from Cloth and Paper. I think these were in the sub box at the end of the year, but you could also purchase them on the website. And so I love them for pre-planning pages because you can, you know, have them in here, keep, especially if you're like me and you use your catch-all everyday planner, and you have a bunch of other stuff in here, not just your planner stuff. So like I have my research section and like all of this is research and projects and social media things and stuff like that. And so um, it's nice to have these little ones so you can write out those important dates and things that you need and want to keep track of so that when it's time to go ahead and lay out your monthly plan, you have everything at hand. So after that, after my research section, I have my work section. Um, I don't have a dashboard for September because I'm waiting to see what dashboards I get in the Ju in the August sub box from Cloth and Paper, and then I'll put in that dashboard. I already did my monthly layout, which I can show y'all. Um, so this is the old monthly layout from Cloth and Paper. Um, now, I will say comparing this, the current, old, current monthly layout, I, what I love about the new layout that's gonna be for 2023 is I do love having this on this side. I also love having this on this side, y'all. If you remember, I'll just flip back to it. So the preview of or the calendar for last month and next month is down here underneath the task list, right? And then this bottom section here on both pages is now a note section. So it does mean that these boxes are smaller. I have a previous video, the sub box unboxing video for June, I believe. I actually measured this out because I think that's the first month where we got this. Um, but, you know, so these boxes are definitely bigger than these. But you can see, I mean, I write small to be clear. But you can still fit what you need to fit in these boxes, I think. Um, and so... I'm looking forward to being able to use this layout, this monthly layout for work and personal next year. But right now, this is what the monthly layout looks like. The weekly layout for next week has a little bit too much um, student, too many student details written on it. So I can't show you what the weekly looks like, but, um, but you know, this is where we are. I do have in here already the month of October. Like I said, I use this sheet as a pre-planning sheet to be able to note down things that are happening in the month. And then I, I'll be able to lay those out on the month of October. And then I also have November and December already in here with those same kind of university-wide things that I need to keep track of. And then the last thing I have um, in this section is, and this is my fattest note section. <laughs> These are all the notes for work. So I do have this Muse um, clear dashboard. This was also in one of the sub boxes. And I just have a couple of different um, pieces of um, uh, 
paper. Uh, why am I blinking? Sticky notes, that's what I'm looking for. And a few different colors here. Um, I Lately, I have been getting away from the transparent sticky notes and going for the paper sticky notes and just different shapes and sizes and colors. So I really like these. These, um, this clip is the same color as the one that's up here. They were part of a set. They were in the cloth and paper sub box, I think in either May or June. Um, I don't think you can get this color on the website. I think you can only get this color on the website if you're a subscriber and you're purchasing from the subscription section. Um, but I do, I mean, look at how pretty that is. So these, this behind this is where I keep just the blank paper uh, for meetings and stuff like that. So I use the project management sheets. I use, I love these for my folks who are managing graduate students. These project management sheets are so great to be able to keep track of your graduate students if you're on their thesis committee or project committee. I'm not going to show you one um, necessarily, but the way that I use this, especially, I use this especially if I'm a student's chair. And the due date, I use the due date box for their target graduation date. So it'll say like fall 2022, right up here. And then I do, and the content overview is where I have like, what their project is actually about. Like, what are the three big things that their project is about? This box often stays blank until, uh, it, it, it can stay blank pretty late. It's in my opinion. <laughs> um, but this box stays blank until they can tell me in like bullet points what the project is actually about. Um, the contact and collaboration with is actually where I list the committee members. So, I list myself as a chair, I list all the committee members, and I list them off with a checkbox, and then I check them off when everybody's committed and signed. This section here, the date, tasks, and deliverables, I list, I use this section to list off all the matriculation deadlines for the project. So like they have to, I don't list off everything, the whole degree matriculation, because there's two or three steps that they do before they get to the committee. So this is where I list stuff like the, you know, when the um, proposal is due. So it'll have the due date for the proposal, um, what they have to do, the deliverable is the proposal, right? So it'll be things like, it'll be like the due date for the proposal. And then in the task section, it'll be sign, proposal, committee, um, propose, or committee form, the proposal form, um, those are the two things that they have to do. And then the deliverable is the proposal itself, right? So I'll put the forms that need to be signed here and then the deliverable for that form. And then the due date, and I do this in advance. So all these dates will be filled in in advance. So sometimes what happens is I will have like a whiteout or whatever where a student and even here like I'll scratch it through or I'll white it out where students you know we were planning for a fall graduation and that didn't work out so we had to put spring dates in here because now they're graduating in the spring but I love this for that um I do actually I've had students sometimes who will go and then buy these same forms <laughs> um, so they can keep track of it in their planner too. Um, if they use the same size as me, then sometimes I will um, give them a blank one. Um, although that doesn't, they don't usually use the same sizes. Not all of them use the same size as me. So um, I'll let them take a picture of it to and take a picture of it and use it for the you know be able to have the picture for themselves and then on the back I use it to write in I use the timeline to actually write in the timeline of the project for completion and then any like notes or anything that might happen during our meeting I'll write in the back and these are these are really great like I said because 
you know, if you're managing a student on their thesis, they or their or their project or practicum or com even conference or exams, right? Like that stuff doesn't happen in one day. It, it doesn't even happen in a week. It's like this is like a five month long project, you know, or a thesis is a year long project. That's like 12 months. And so I love using this because I can see that for each person, but also, and so all of those are in my, um, back here in my graduate program section. Um, all of my current students are back here. What I love about that is when a new student comes to me and says, hey, Dr. Taylor, can you be on my committee or can you be my chair? I can go back here to this section where I have all the project pages for my current students and figure out if I actually can do that. And I cannot even tell you how helpful it's been for even somebody whose project that I'm like, when they explain the project, I'm like, oh my God, that sounds so cool. I would love, love, love to work on that. I go and I look at my list of people that I'm already currently working with and I'm like, oh, damn, no, mm -mm. <laughs> like, I can't do it as, as much as I would love to. I can't. Um, but I just really love using this layout for using these for that purpose. So I love these. I order extra of these all the time. Um, I also use them for other kinds of projects, but I love using them for um, helping guide my graduate students and keep track of my graduate students. Um, and then I just have some other, these are the meeting notes, the blank meeting notes. I did recently order some more of these in the newer layout that are dot grid. So I'm waiting for those to come. And this is just some blank dot grid paper. And then all of my projects. So again, these are, I have these labels are, I just made them with my label maker and just stuck these on. Um, I love this because this just lets me know where everything is. And these are the plastic dividers from um, Cloth and Paper. These are in the color Affogato. I don't think they do this color anymore on their website. I haven't seen it there for a while. So I don't know if it's because it's sold out or if it's because it's sold out and they're not getting any more or if it's sold out and they're getting more. I don't know, um, but I love this. I do love this color. And then I do have some um, dividers um, that some that I've bought um, separately from the website, some that were um, part of the sub box like this one, this other one I purchased. So some are paper, some are vellum. This is a harder vellum one from cloth and paper. I love their thick vellums. Um, and then some like this one from the graduate that's in front of my graduate section is one that I just printed myself on some vellum paper. Um, and I just, I love it. <laughs> this was, um, I went to Jamaica this um, summer for my sister's wedding and we went to this restaurant that was on the beach and there was a Starbucks nearby. We had to wait um, to be seated. And so I got a cup of coffee and there you go. And then I think in this, yeah, in my comm department section, um, I'm not going to be able to show because there's a lot of stuff in there related to like department head stuff. Um, and so, but depending on what dashboards I get in the August box, sub box from Cloth and Paper, I might add some dashboards to these sections. Who knows? Um, or I may go through the year and pull from earlier in the year and put those in there. And then in the back, I have this card um, holder. This is from Poi and Hun. Um, this little graphic card is from Poi and Hun. This one's from Cloth and Paper. It was in a sub box. Um, the Brown Sugar Collections uh, dot stickers from um, Sweet Caress. And then this little ruler card is from Cloth and Paper. This was in a sub box. And then this one, whoops, has just the card holders on the front side. There's nothing on the back. I keep pulling that out. Um, so on the back, what I did is just put another card on the back so that there'd be something back there. And then I do love this this thank you card that was coming in the when you ordered things. Cloth and paper always sends you like a, some kind of 
card there's like some kind of thank you card in there and I just love the aesthetic of this one and so I just keep it back here and then just some journaling cards icon stickers from cloth and paper these dot stickers I think are from yeah these are from sweet caress and then I have some business cards my faculty ID um, a journaling card um, from cloth and paper and that's it so that is my overview for the current month and what my planner kind of looks like as a flip through so I think this video ended up being kind of long <laughs> um, but I hope it did it ended up being kind of long but I hope you enjoyed it um, if you have any questions, thoughts, feelings, comments, please leave those in the section down below. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Also, if you want to see whenever I have new content um, and get alerts, go ahead and click the notification button. Go ahead and cl click the subscription button uh, so that you'll know whenever I have new content. Okay, I look for, oh, you know what? I think I forgot to tell y'all. So this pen is also from cloth and paper it's the color studio in khaki it writes in black it has a gold i got it because of this gold um the little clip i love that so um anyway i wanted to make sure i said that before i left uh so have a great day everybody enjoy the bounty of your plans i'll see you on the next one bye